Hi, everybody, it's FIBO Group, and you're watching to the Market Watch Review. Asian Pacific equities mostly advanced and South Korea's return saw the KOSPI rise 1.3% The Strait Times also rose 1.8% and Singapore markets reopen. European equity is heavy and US futures point to a sharply lower open. Despite sharp losses in US equity futures, US dollars are generally stronger against G10 currencies despite the steep losses. One notable exception is Australia's dollar. There, higher than expected inflation increases the risk of an aggressive central bank. March WTI trades softer after API reported a 3,300,000 barrel increase on top of 7,600,000 barrels the week before. Asian Pacific Market The Australian dollar was sharply higher due to a rapid increase in Australian inflation. CPI rose 1.9% in the fourth quarter, which pushed the year-over-year -year rate to 7.8%, 7.3%. The Australian dollar has reached the 50% retracement level of its decline from February 2021's high slightly above $0.8000. Tomorrow, the Ministry of Finance in Japan will report weekly portfolio flows. Remember that foreign bonds were being bought by Japanese investors in the previous week, with the BOJ still standing. Today, the dollar is trading in a narrow range against yen. This is within yesterday's range market of Europe. The IFO survey showed that economists are becoming more optimistic about the Eurozone and Germany, but it was not as impressive. From 94.4, the January assessment has dropped to 94.1. There had been some improvement in the market. From 83.2, the expectations component rose to 86.4. This is the fourth consecutive increase and the most optimistic since May last year. Although the euro was able to push through $1.09 in Asia, it seems to have been triggered by some profit-taking, which has seen it reach nearly 1.0860 in the European morning. Yesterday, sterling fell to $1.2265 for a four-day low before recovering to $1.2355 today. Today, sterling is consolidating in yesterday's range but has not spent much time higher than yesterday's close. Market of America Today's U.S. economic calendar is light, but tomorrow will pick up with the first estimate for the fourth quarter GDP. Tomorrow's December merchandise trade balance and inventories will also be available. Durable goods orders and new home sales are due. Today's key event is the Bank of Canada meeting. Economists expect a quarter-point increase, but it is not completely discounted by the swaps market. Remember that the market was split at last month's meeting between 25 BP or 50 BP. The range of the US dollar against the Canadian dollar remains unchanged ahead of Monday's Bank of Canada meeting. That's all for me, closely monitor the news background and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.